So we were a little concerned maybe that Tim had seen his own shadow maybe and gone into hiding. Um, it is Groundhog Day, and thanks to Bill Murray and his hit movie, every day is Groundhog Day in Woodstock. So, Tim, what you got out there for us? <laughs> You know, it's deja vu all over again. I think this is my third time out here. They've been doing it on and off since 1993. I think about 25 times they've had Groundhog Day. And they do it. It's hokey and it's goofy, but it's a lot of fun. And they were blessed to have the movie shot here because they're taking advantage of it. And one of the guys who gets a lot of credit for it, this is Bob Hudgens, who is the locations manager for the movie. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks. So I, I asked you just a minute ago, and I already know the answer, but I want you to share with the audience. I know this is the movie you said if you Google your name, you're most associated with but tell us some of the other movies that you were locations manager for. Well, uh, you know, the only one that was an Oscar nominee was Field of Dreams, but, uh, you know, Plain Strands and Automobiles, Rudy, uh, Michael. Um, I was very fortunate to uh, be based in Chicago and got a good start with John Hughes and led to many other things. I like your name dropping there. That's great. And one of the names you dropped on me was Harold Ramis. You said that he was a pleasure to work with, right? Oh, what a pleasure. I mean, A, he's brilliant. I mean, absolutely brilliant human being. But he was kind and he was just, you know, gathered an incredible group of people around him. Best cinematographer I ever worked with, John Bailey. And I mean, it was just every department head was really top notch. And the producer, Doc Erickson, was, I mean, he goes back to Cleopatra and uh, just an amazing human being and it was a great crew and we stayed friends over the years and then when Woodstock started embracing, you know, this after the fact, uh, Harold actually came for the fifth anniversary and uh, which was so like 1997 and uh, that was really kind of the one that really kicked it off when Harold showed up but uh, it, it was just uh, an amazing experience for all of us I mean really was good. What were some of the more iconic locations in, in terms of this movie that that people tend to gravitate to people like the most? Well the square and, and you know that's the funny thing in the movie in the original script we were basically replicating everything that Punxsutawney does. Mm -hmm. And in Punxsutawney, they don't actually have a town square, A. B, they do it in a park outside of town. And so they start the day before drinking, partying, and it goes all night long, and then consummated with the, the prognostication. But um, the, David Nichols, the production designer, actually, after we were, we already found our place where we were going to do it over in McHenry, and, and so it was not something we thought was going to happen, but he was like, you know, if we move the the ceremony to the square, then we have this set all the way around us all the time. And everywhere we look, it's a great camera angle. Woodstock's a very attractive town. And so it just, uh, it, it, and it, boom, it stuck. And so when you're involved pretty early in the filmmaking process, oh, right? Yeah. So did you have any clue that the movie was going to have this legacy and go on for years and years and years? Oh, gosh, no, no one. I mean, you can't, this is, this is, you know, lightning in a bottle. No, uh, because the movie, I, no one expected the movie to resonate as much as it has. And it really has. And people are, come from all over the world just to be part of where this movie was shot. It's, you know, makes me... <laughs> so, I mean, it's, you know, Field of Dreams is kind of close. They built the... After they tore the field down after we finished filming, then they, uh, you know, they, they embraced it and brought the field back, and now they play games there. But it's just not the same thing. This is... The whole town is involved in this. Well, you get a lot of credit for that, so congratulations. You do, working on any other films real quick? No, uh, Chicago Fire was my last project. I'm retired, yes. Oh, well, congratulations. I hope you're enjoying it. Yeah. So, picked a great location, guys. It's worked out for Woodstock, that's for sure. It Back sure to you. Did, right? And all this excitement about Willie made us wonder do you believe in a groundhog's ability to predict the weather?